So you know, I, I may be r roughly overgeneralizing here, but it seems to me that there's some tr often a trigger problem that generates in your mind a great solution for when you come up with new companies. So, for example, when trying to negotiate with the Russians for launch capacity, the, the <laughs> aha that we should just build a better rocket to solve this problem comes forth. Or when you uh, deal with the commute on the 405 or whatever in LA, it's like, oh my God, what is wrong with mass transit and, and perhaps Hyperloop and then, you know, with, with, uh, with a variety of ideas. There seems to be some trigger, something that's broken in the world that, and, and you have an idea of how to fix it. And I guess what I'm curious about is not how you've picked the areas of interest and the solutions, but how have you decided what not to per fix? In other words, there's many things that need fixing in the world, and students here probably could think of a long list, many of which you could probably imagine solutions to using the physics first principle approach. But has there been any framework or idea you've used to filter out what you don't do, what you don't pursue? Um, yeah, I mean, well, if, if, if sort of follow the what, what I did initially was, um, you know, I, I, well, you go back to like college times. I was working on um, energy storage technologies for electric vehicles, mm -hmm. um, and that's what I was going to pursue at Stanford. Actually, was work on um, like advanced capacitors and batteries to improve uh, the energy density for electric vehicles. Um, and then the internet was kind of happening. It was clear, like the internet was happening, like back in like '94, '95. And, uh, and I wasn't sure if what I worked on in the PhD would actually be useful. Mm. So I was like, I was really concerned that if I... Why? Timing or what was no, your intuition? Meaning I think like, or it could be academically useful, but not practically useful. Um, like it, I think it, it could result in a PhD and adding some leaf to the tree of knowledge, uh, but then, then discovering that, well, it's not really gonna, gonna matter. Like that's, you know, is it, is it gonna be a, a good enough thing to actually be used in an electric vehicle. I wasn't sure. I mean, so it was like, I was uncertain as to whether success was one of the possible outcomes. Right. Like I thought maybe it was, but I wasn't sure. And, and then I thought, well, if I watch the internet get built while I'm doing this, um, that, that, that would be really frustrating. So there's a sense of that eminent timing, that like, that was the time for the internet and maybe yeah. the other stuff could wait or be on the back, yeah, back exactly. burner of your mind. Was it always there as like one day I'll get back to that or was it um, just like... Yeah, I thought probably I'd get back to it and mm -hmm. did, did end up doing that. Um, but yeah, I thought sort of the, the, the internet was, was happening, it, like really taking off, um, although most people weren't aware of it in 95. Um, and, uh, and so I, th I figured like, Electric vehicle technology, energy storage technology, there will there'll be some sort of natural progression in that, and I could come back to it later. Um, but the internet, you know, was, was really, that was the moment to, to really do something. Um, although in, in 95, it wasn't obvious that you could actually make any money on the internet. This was, like, no, nobody, until Netscape went public, I think at the end of 95, um, nobody even thought there was, like, uh, you could make a valuable company on the internet. It wasn't that, as that, obvious that, as it seems now. Yeah, yeah, like now it seems really obvious, but back then it was not at all. Um, so it was really from the perspective of, it wasn't like, oh, I want to make a bunch of money. It was actually from, it's like, oh, I want to just be a part of pulling this thing that I thought was like, like a nervous system. It was like pr previously people had communicated effectively by osmosis. And, um, you know, you'd have to like basically physically you know, connect with somebody to, to really communicate. Um, you know, like a letter. Like you said, letters, like that, <laughs> on paper. <laughs> um, and with the internet, anyone who had a connection anywhere in the world would have access to all the world's information, just like sort of a nervous system in a sort like, so humanity was effectively becoming a superorganism um, and, and qualitatively different than uh, what it had been before. And so I wanted to be part of that. And uh, um, yeah, so, but, but initially the goal was just to make enough money to pay the rent. It wasn't... Um, you know, to do anything beyond that. Interesting. And then as many know that much of that capital then got plowed back into your next businesses. Right, you know, right, exactly. And the, yeah. Exactly. So then the, and, and then the internet is also helpful because it's anything to do with software is a low capital endeavor. So I didn't have any money. Um, I just had a bunch of student debt. And um, so, this, but, but software you can just write like by yourself. Um, and you don't need a lot of atoms. Like you don't need a, a lot of tooling and equipment and um, so it's not capital intensive. Um, so the ability to start a company um, 
if it's software related and it's the first company, it's much, much easier. Right, right. Yeah.